the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In a very special way, we welcome our sisters and brothers who are not able to be with us physically this morning, but are streamlining our celebration. Welcome, one and all. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus. Your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, the Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, the Lord my flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. Exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of our resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, 
has glorified his servant, Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the holy and righteous one and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witness. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted that your sins may be wiped away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. me, O God. You who relieve me when I am in distress, have pity on me and hear my prayer. Lord, let your shine on us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. O Lord, let the light of your countenance shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart. Lord, let your shine on us. As soon as I lie down, I fall peacefully asleep. For you alone, O Lord, bring security to my dwelling. Lord, let your shine on us. A reading from the first letter of St. John. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The way we may be sure that we know him is to keep his commandments. Those who say, I know him, but do not keep his commandments, are liars, and the truth is not in them. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfect in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, 
he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. And he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preaching his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. The 11 disciples in this morning's gospel passage were surprised when the risen Christ suddenly appeared before them. They thought they were seeing a ghost. Perhaps sometimes you and I mirror that same gospel scene in our own day-to-day -day lives. For just a few moments, imagine yourself at the end of a long day, comfortably resting in your favorite chair. You're settling in for some well-deserved quiet time. And then you hear, Mom, I need help with my math. Or, Dad, you promised that you would help me with my school project. Or, Honey, I need to talk. You look up in the direction of the voice that shattered your long-awaited peace, and suddenly there in your midst is the risen Jesus in the person of that family member. Or you and your school friends are about to head off to the mall. And just as you are about to take off, you hear, hey, can I hang out with you guys? You stop and you tell your classmate, who is just too weird to take off. And there standing in your midst is the risen Jesus in the schoolmate you have just left behind. Or you and I are stopped at an intersection for the light, waiting for the light to turn green. And suddenly a dirty hand knocks on the car window and a small sign is thrust into our faces. Homeless vet, I'm hungry, please help me. We look up to protest this imposition of our time and money and there, with that hand stretched out to us, is the risen beggar, is the risen Jesus in the beggar we just ignored. The risen Jesus acts through other people, which means that the risen Jesus acts through all of us here this morning. Saint Mother Teresa of Calcutta said it so clearly when she said, we must remember that God has no other hands than our hands no other feet but ours, no other mouth but ours. Therefore, God is still going to work miracles of love, miracles of freedom, and liberation through people like you and me. The risen Jesus in this morning's gospel restores hope and mends the broken hearts and spirits of his disciples. 
The risen Jesus walks among us today in family, friends, and strangers. The risen Jesus connects us to our sisters and brothers in need of our support and comfort. As our Lord touched his, with his mercy and forgiveness, his comfort and healing, may you and I be ready and willing to be a loving touch to those pe people who feel rejected and abandoned. The Paschal mystery is ongoing. It involves us recognizing Jesus in every single person who suffers. As Pope Francis has said, love is being kind, is being able to take a hand that is dirty and the ability to look in the eyes of those who are in distress and say, for me, you are Jesus. Brothers and sisters, we cannot just speak about the risen Jesus to others. If we want other people to really believe in him, then they must see Jesus, see his joy and compassion in the way that you and I choose to live our lives and in the way that you and I love one another. Most of us, and I include myself, need to train ourselves to set our spiritual barometers to be more compassionate and less thick-skinned. We need to be a little less judgmental. We need to be a little more forgiving and generous. We need to be a little more grateful for the many, many God-given gifts that we have. In today's gospel passage, the risen Jesus appeared to the eleven as flesh and bone. Today, Jesus calls all of us to be flesh and bone witnesses to his resurrection. We are to be flesh and bone of his compassion and peace for every person we have sadly consigned to those graves of our indifference, our exclusion, and our neglect. We need to be flesh and bone of the risen Christ to every person that we have relegated to their cemeteries of our indifference, our unconcern, and our rejection. Every evening before going to bed, I kneel at the side of my bed to examine my conscience. I make an act of contrition for my sins. I silently reflect on that day, and oftentimes, Oftentimes it dawns on me that I did exactly what the 11 disciples did in this morning's gospel story. In the people I inter interacted with during that day, the risen Jesus knocked at my door. I saw him. I heard him. I talked to him. But in some of those people I encountered that day, I failed to recognize Jesus. In the afterglow of the liturgies of Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter Sunday, this third Sunday of Easter calls us to reconsider what the resurrection of Jesus means for you and me in our everyday lives. Are we able to see our lives and our world through the perspective of Easter? Are the compassion and forgiveness the hope and healing of the resurrected Jesus, real and tangible in our lives in the here and now. Every time we bring hope to a situation, every time we bring joy that shatters despair, every time we forgive others and bring back their dignity, every time we listen to people and affirm them, every time that we confront injustice, we become flesh and bone signs of the hope and grace of the Easter Jesus. As for the disciples way back then, so now for you and me today, as we meet Jesus in the upper room in this morning's gospel, he chooses to meet e each and every one of us. He said to them, as he said to us, peace be with you. Peace is a gift that Jesus gives us to all of us. But the peace of Easter is not just the absence of conflict. True peace is rooted in the gospel values of justice and mercy. 
True peace is realized and affirmed when all people, all people are respected and honored as sons and daughters of God and sisters and brothers to one another. To become witnesses to Jesus' resurrection is to embrace his peace in our lives and to bring that peace into the lives of other people. If we love peace, then we must hate injustice. We must hate cruelty. And we must hate greed. Let this Easter season open our eyes and our hearts to see the many ways that we can bring resurrection to every person we encounter, every decision we make, and every challenge we face. May we become witnesses of the risen Christ's peace, which is to embrace God's love, peace which forgives and reconciles, peace which heals and lifts up, Peace which is not just the absence of conflict, but the active pursuit of justice and mercy for all people. May the dream and the reality of the risen Jesus' peace begin and be within you and me. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who is spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, trusting in the power of the risen Jesus, let us bring all of our needs, those spoken and those that remained within our hearts, to our loving Father today as, to, as we pray. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all who lead the church, may God grant them the wisdom and strength to carry out the work entrusted to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Trusting in the power of the risen Christ, let us bring our needs to God today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all <clears throat> gathered here, may the Spirit renew us in the hope of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they rest in eternal peace with the Father in heaven, especially for Dionysio Patrick Dong, John Riley Link, Jose Maria Acevedo, Beatriz Arena Salgado, Angela Ibarra, Raul Hernandez, Christopher Fritos, Angel Medina, Isabel Grard Mao, Martin Lisho, Joe Foxo, Anthony Pazzo, Luis Seidel, Raul Moreiras, Jacques Leger, Angel Medina, and Terry Malinowski, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. With a serious escalation of warfare this past weekend in the Middle East, let us now simply bow our heads 
and beg for peace in the Middle East. Prince of Peace and Our Lady Queen of Peace, pray for us. Sisters, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant Church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all other times, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. And by rising, he has restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as together we acclaim. Oh, no. 
is, is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the dead of until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, bless Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Bonaventure, our patron, and with all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed in divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. And so for one another, the sign of peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
If you walked into the room, if you stilled the crowd, if your light is found, and if I saw your wounds, touched your thorn pierced brow, I wonder. Would I know you now If you walked into this place Would I cause you shame Would my games be your disgrace Or would I worship Fall upon my face I wonder if I'd know you now Or have the images I've painted So distorted who you are That even if the world was looking They could not see you The real you Have I changed the true reflection to fulfill my own design making you what I want not showing you forth divine divine would I miss you now if you left and close the door Would my flesh cry out I don't need you anymore When I fall Could I be restored But I know you Let us pray. Look with kindness on your people, O Lord, we pray, and grant that those who are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is saying, I go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God.